$1,000 plus 18% plus $310,000. It all makes sense now. I have all the details and what you need to know right here on the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I have three separate reports that I wanna talk through, and in just a minute or two, I do have a question for you, which I would love to hear your opinion down in the comment section. So let's get into it and discuss these reports one by one. Now, first off, I quickly wanna talk about this $1,000. Now, I completely understand this is not going to impact everybody here in the community, but I still wanna bring this to your attention because these are still popping up all around the country, and I like to bring these to your attention when they arrive so that you can grab it if you are in the area that I'm talking about. So in this case, it is Washington, D.C. So if you're located in the Washington, D.C. area, please pay attention for just a minute here as I have some pretty cool announcements. So Washington, D.C. has announced they're going to be sending out a one-time $1,000 check to about 15,000 residents in that area. Now, this is on top of the guaranteed basic income program that they also recently approved of up to $900 ongoing checks. So again, if you're in the Washington, D.C. area, please check this out. They have just approved this and it sounds like these checks are going to be going out relatively soon here to about 15,000 residents, a one-time $1,000 check. And then also, if you're not eligible to receive that, please look into the Guaranteed Basic Income Program in the area of Washington, D.C. So you can possibly grab the ongoing monthly checks of up to $900 every single month. Not bad, right? Like I've said before, I completely understand that does not uh, that does not impact everybody here in the community. However, there's a lot of these guaranteed basic income programs all around the country, and of course, a lot of these states out there right now. In fact, there's about 18 or 19 different states right now that are sending out stimulus checks on the state level. So again, just another area right here. Even though Washington D.C. is not a state, but rather a district, but yes, uh, they are still sending out these checks in that area as well. So please, as I do get more details on any of these areas around the entire country. I wanna make sure that you're getting this information so you can grab your share because that's what I wanna help you out with. So. Washington, D.C. Hope you can uh, take advantage of that. Check that out if you're in that area. Next, let's quickly talk about the next report here. And this was in, in re, uh, reference to 18%. This is unbelievable. But again, not surprised because this is just what's going on right now. So again, I don't think any of us are going to be all that shocked about it. But honestly, just a sad situation. I was just reading another report talking about turkeys for upcoming Thanksgiving. And then it made me realize I looked at the calendar and recognized, wow, Thanksgiving is not that far away, right? It's really not. Which, by the way, I do have that question here for you in just a second. Stick with me for just another minute here. All right, so this is what the report was saying, that they're anticipating as of right now, because of a variety of different factors, including there was a bird flu going around uh, with flocks of, of chickens and turkeys over the last uh, you know several months here. Uh, flock counts are down when it comes to turkeys. Uh, basically what it comes down to is grain prices are going up uh, significantly. And again, grain is what these turkeys are eating, things like this. But it all comes down to this. They're anticipating for this coming, uh, this upcoming Thanksgiving that turkey prices are going to be up. Yep, you called it another 18%. Wow, seriously, unbelievable. Can you imagine this? every single thing that we look at right now. Is there anything that has gone down or stayed flat in price over the last year? I'd be interested to do a little project to see, is there anything out there that has stayed flat in price? Probably not. Let's just be real right now because everything has gone up. So here we are. Even turkeys are going up another 18%. That is what's projected as of right now. Now, again, it could change. It could be higher. It could be lower. But as of right now, the projections are coming in that they're looking at increases in turkey prices by at least about 18% in just a couple months from now when uh, Thanksgiving hits. So, wow, unbelievable, seriously. But like I said, I don't think any of us are surprised because it's like they say, par for the course. I mean, seriously, this is what's going on right now. There is inflation on everything, which by the way, I have two questions now. I just thought of the second question. Question number one would be, if there's anything that you can think of that has stayed flat in price, please let me know. I'd be interested to know what right now is the same price as it was a year ago, a year and a half ago, back in early January of 2021, what's the same price today as what it was back then? I think all of us would struggle to find anything right now, right? So anyway, that's my first question. I just thought of that question, by the way. My next question is this. So as many of you know, right here, right now, we've been doing this Amazon project, right? We've been sending out hundreds and hundreds of packages. Actually, we're very close to a thousand packages at this point that have gone out to those of you here in the community. My question would be to, uh, to you would, would be this. Actually, I thought of this as I was reading the, the, the article and the information on uh, these turkey prices. Here's what I thought. 
What if we extended this around the Thanksgiving time? What if we send out turkeys? <laughs> I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Is this something that people would want? I'm not really sure how we'd pull this off. I'm gonna be honest with you. I need to do some research and see how we can like deliver perishable foods, right? But again, would that be something you'd be interested in? Maybe when we get close to the Thanksgiving time frame, maybe like starting the weekend before, because honestly, some people uh, celebrate Thanksgiving like the weekend before, the day of, and then even the weekend after, you know, depending on if you're meeting with friends or family, or if you have different events that you're going to, you know, it can be basically about a, I don't know, nine day period of time, the weekend before, the day of, and you know, the couple days afterward. Is this something you'd be interested in? Maybe during that time we can kind of drop the Amazon stuff and maybe we can start sending out turkeys to people. <laughs> I mean, seriously, would that be kind of funny or what, right? But again, let me know down below in the comment section, do you think that'd be a cool project that we could transition to around the Thanksgiving time and uh, maybe send out some frozen turkeys or, you know, again, when I say turkeys, I mean like all the stuff, right? Turkeys, maybe a couple boxes of um, stuffing or whatever they do, um, some cranberries. What else do people eat on Thanksgiving? Honestly, I don't even really know, right? Um, anyway, all that kind of stuff. Would you be interested in that? Like a little Thanksgiving meal box, right? Would that be kind of cool? I don't know. I thought of it as I was reading through that article on turkeys and I thought, you know what? Since we're already doing the Amazon stuff, why not send out like I don't know, some turkeys and the whole like Thanksgiving fe uh, feast around that time. So anyhow, let me know down in the comment section if that's something you think would be cool or if I should just say, no, let's not get into that. But let me know down below if that's something you would enjoy and if it's actually something that you would want or if you think, no, I'd actually be better off getting some other things. So I'd love to hear your opinions on that one down below. Please leave those comments and uh, I'll do my best to read as many as, my, uh, as I possibly can. All right, now next, let's move on to this next report here. And again, this one is a little bit eye-opening, but at the same time, not all that surprising because honestly, we know the situation considering what we just talked about with turkey prices. A new independent study was just uh, conducted on how much it costs to raise a child from the age of, well, obviously zero or birth up until through the age of 17, basically up until the 18th birthday. Can you guess how much it's going to be? Well, you probably already know because I already said the number a couple minutes ago. Yes, it is over $310,000. That's what they're projecting right now as a result of everything going on. And with rapidly rising prices because of all this inflation, it is now causing, or costing, I should say, I apologize, it is now costing the average family and or individual to, to raise one child from the age of zero, basically birth, through the age of 17, or basically until that, uh, that child hits age 18, it's costing a little bit over $310,000, which by the way, that averages out to about $18,270 every single year. I did not run the math on that on a monthly basis, but that would probably come out to about uh, $1,500 a month. Just rough mental math right there. To give you a perspective, about $1,500 a month is what it would cost to raise a child from zero birth out until the age of 18. That's incredible, right? That's a lot of money. That's a lot. So just imagine if you had twins, for example, if you had twins, it's going to cost you about $620,000 to raise those two twins from birth out until the age of 18. That's a lot of money. That'd be about $36,000 a year, every single year, or about $3,000 a month is what it would come out to. That's amazing, right? It's a lot of money. And again, I'd really like to know this much. And again, I'm not really sure. I read into the report a little bit, but again, I didn't like do a ton of research on this. I'd be curious to know, is that just covering all the essentials or is that covering like toys and like travel and like all the fun stuff? I mean, what, is it, what does that include? Does that just include like the bare necessities, like, you know, all the diapers and clothes and, you know, stuff like that? Or does it also include so much toward like toys and entertainment and stuff like that every single month? Honestly, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I should probably look into that a little bit further because now I'm really curious to know where does this actually draw the line? You know what I mean? Does it, does it include like a stroller? Does it include car seats? Oh, what about all that stuff? Does it include all of that as well? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm really curious now to know because I'm just really interested to know is where do they draw the line here? Because if this does not include all of this other stuff, as in the toys, the, co uh, the, the, the uh, sorry, the car seats, the strollers, all of that stuff as well, that number would be significantly, significantly higher, right? Because all of that stuff is very expensive, right? So if this is just covering the necessities, as in clothes, diapers, food, uh, shoes, all that stuff like that, 
then we're talking like, wow, that's just the bare necessities. Then we're talking about a lot more than just $310,000, right? So anyway, I'm going to dig into that a little bit more because I'm really curious now to see what that actually comes out to be and where they draw the line on all this stuff. If any of you know the answer to that, let you uh, let me know down in the comments section. I'd be you know curious to hear um, what you think about that. So anyway, these are the reports that are coming out right now. Every time we turn around, somebody's got their hand out trying to get more money out of us these days with all this inflation. Seriously, it's kind of getting old, right? I think we're all getting a little sick of it. But here's the thing. Even if this inflation comes down, does that mean the prices are going to come down? No. Honestly, it does not mean the prices are going to come down. It simply just means the prices are not going to continue rising as fast as they once were. That's all it simply means. It does not mean that all of a sudden there's going to be flash sales all across the board on everything, that everything's going to come down in price. Unfortunately, these prices that we're dealing with right now are likely here to stay. They might come down a little bit on some things, but for the most part, these prices that we're currently dealing with are here and uh, they're probably not going anywhere. But rather, they might just stop rising uh, as fast as they have been over the last couple of, well, about a year and a half or so, right? So that's basically what it's going to kind of come down to. Anyway, hope you found these uh, reports to be interesting. I'm excited to read through the comment section to hear your opinions on the whole turkey, the whole turkey idea. And of course, I'd love to hear your answers on the child thing. Do you think that includes um, all the extra stuff or do you think it just includes the essentials? Anyway, I'm excited to read through the comment section. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much for your continued support. Again, I'm doing anything I possibly can to reach all of you here in the community as quickly as possible. So if I haven't reached you yet, please be patient with me. I'm just doing what I can. I'm a one-man band here, except I don't know how to play any instruments. So I guess I'm not really a band. I'm just a one-man show, I guess you could say, right? So anyway, doing my best here to get as many of you here in the community as I can. Just trying to help out with the resources available to us. And again, doing what I can because Congress is doing a whole lot of nothing. Anyway, I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. Please make sure to subscribe down below. If you haven't done so yet, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and please go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one. Enjoy your day. And I'll catch you again later in the next